Hi, in this video we're going to look at making our first basic text animation in After Effects. So to start with I'm going to go to File, New and click on New Project. I then need to start a new composition. To do that I can go Composition, New Composition or I can click on this little icon down here which will create a new composition for me. In the name I'm just going to give it Text Animation and then all these options are up to you. So your width, your height, how big you want the stage to be, the ratio, the frames that you're going to use, and the length. I'm going to leave it as 1280 by 720 and at 5 seconds. I'm going to click OK. So now that we have created our composition, I'm going to create my text layer. So I'm going to go up here to Layer, New, and select Text. In the bottom of my timeline, you'll notice that that layer has appeared and it's now going to allow me to type in the text I want to edit. So in this, I'm just going to type in a logo name. And you'll notice the toolbar at the top here for all your text. I'm going to click on the selection tool, center that, and just make it a little bit bigger. You can do this by clicking and dragging on the edges. You can also change some of your options on the right hand side here. So just find something that you like, place it on the screen wherever you wish it to be, and then we'll start to animate it. And I'm just going to stretch mine out a little bit more. Okay, so once you're happy with your text, go down to your timeline and click on the little arrow on your layer. And where you see text, it will say animate. Once again, click on the little play button icon, and you'll notice all your options here. So these are all the animations you can create. We're going to start with using the opacity. So I'm going to select that. And you'll notice now you have more options to play with. Now your opacity is kind of like your alpha channel, your transparency, depending on the software you're using. But it'll allow you to pretty much play around with the, with the text, make it appear and disappear. So if I click on the number there and I start scrolling through, you'll notice the effect. I'm going to start by setting it to zero. And where it says Range Selector, I'm going to click on that little drop-down arrow there. Now you'll notice here we have three options, Start, End and Offset. So if I play with the Start one, you'll notice it means that the text will come in from the beginning. If I start with the End one, the text will come in from the back. And the Offset will allow me to go either way. So I can go Minus or from the beginning. So I'm going to play around with the Offset for this effect. Now to allow us to actually start animating, we need to set the keyframes and if you use flash you'll know what the keyframes are all about so I'm going to click on the little stopwatch here next to offset and I'm then going to go to my timeline here and scroll all the way to the end and I'm going to change that to 100% and hit enter if I go over here and press the play button it's going to preview my animation as it currently is and you'll notice how the text comes in from left to right Okay, so that's your first text effect you can add to this and you can play around with it. So I'm going to go over back here and click on Add, Property, and this time I'm going to go to Scale. Now, the Scale one here, I'm going to make this 120. I'm going to click Preview. So you'll notice now how the text kind of jumps out at you and then returns back to its original value. Now I'm going to go back to Add and Property, and this time I'm going to hit Rotation. So with Rotation, I'm going to change it to 40 degrees, and hit Play again. And now you'll notice how the text rotates in 40 degrees. So you have a bunch of options there. Play around with them, find effects that you like, test them out, and see which one works best for whatever it is you hope to achieve.